Superstar is part of a growing number of female pro gamers that are taking full advantage of a sport that offers a truly even playing field. Behind the girl next door charm of our next superstar has a ferocious competitor that's making a name for herself by beating up on the boy. EMS Mary G. My name is Shannon Ridge. I'm 23. I live here in Boulder, Colorado. I am a professional Halo 2 player. My gamer tag's Mary Jane PMS, and I am part of the wonderful PMS clan. I'm an outdoorsy kind of girl, which is something that you wouldn't really expect from a gamer, but finding balance is good. I like to go up into the mountains, skiing, snowboarding. I hike, I bike around. The trails here are beautiful. When she's not in the mountains or practicing Halo 2, Shannon is usually helping her father with more spiritual pursuits. This is Living Water Unity Church. This is the church that my family and I have uh, pioneered from the ground up. My dad is a minister. One of the things that we stress in, in our church is that there is no dogma, there is no judgment, there is just practical Christianity. What I gain from my spirituality is just a nice center, a nice serene feeling when I'm at peace and, you know, living from my heart and something that I can just tap into. Pro video gaming was definitely not what David Ridge had in mind for his daughter. Growing up, my parents actually never let me play video games. We just said, no, that, that kind of game is not allowed. They found a lot of the games to be not what they wanted me to see. I was attuned to these kinds of games that were coming out, and it just didn't fit with my perspective of how a child should be raised. I always snuck over to friends' houses, played on the side. When I turned 18, however, I did go out and get my own system, and then I started beating all of my roommates at the different games that we put in, and it got to be pretty competitive. Oh, shoot. Damn. Once I've found that passion, my parents, they're going with it. They're supporting me, and they're supporting everything that I've been doing. I play Halo 2. It's a first-person shooter game. The objective is to destroy the other team. From the start, I actually found that I was pretty skilled, no matter what game I picked up. Oh! oh. I don't know exactly what is it in these fingers, but there's there's something. I think that it has a lot to do with being focused while you play and keeping your eye on the target. Ooh. I practice every day, normally between two and six hours. I would put a lot of time into it to be the best. It's a big part of what makes it fun is the competition and being better than the boys and being you know the best that you can be. You run so well. Girl gamers are a fast-growing part of the pro circuit. The PMS clan is the largest group of female gamers, and we are some of the most vicious. We kick butt. I was in a game with a couple of my friends, and they're like, have you heard of these girls? They're amazing. They're the best girls on Halo. And I was like, no, no, who are they? PMS clan, you haven't heard? Go to their website and they just had open arms, and there I was, in the midst of it all. PMS, or Pandora's Mighty Soldiers, has been more than holding its own in pro gaming. The PMS clan was one of the first clans to actually go and compete at these pro tournaments, and we like playing against the opposite sex. It motivates us to play better. It's an even field. It's not like football or basketball where they're overpowering as far as their physical strength. I mean, yeah, there are some girls that could probably go in and hold their own, but as far as most women go, we're just made differently. So we, we like the even playing field and we like being able to compete against the guys and beat them. So what's the future for girl gamers? We're starting to see a lot of female gamers coming out into the, the professional circuit, which is really exciting to see these girls getting the confidence to practice enough to be able to play in these professional circuits. I'm wishing there were more girls. It's good for us because we have each other, but I can see how the lone running gunner that goes to a tournament without any friends or support there could feel a little pushed into the corner. 
You will definitely hear about PMS girls winning competitions within the next, I'd say, two to five years, maybe even the next year. My boyfriend, Jake Forsyth, he also plays Halo 2. You know, I, I wiped him out, two-point lead. We met at a tournament and ended up falling in love. Oh my gosh, no! During the matches I play with Jake, it's 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 a pretty close combat. Oh, I'll kill him. Right here. There it is. But more recently, I have been coming out on top, I have to say. And there's proof. Oh my god, he's gonna get me! When he beats me, I wanna play better, and I think when I beat him, makes him wanna play better. Oh. I love you. Shannon hopes her success can put an end to the lazy gamer stereotype once and for all. We are athletic, we are artistic, we don't just sit in our basement and play all the time. Being able to see the faces of these gamers and not having all the stigma that's attached to it will actually help change the face of gaming. As far as my future, I see myself a mother. I see myself set in a career, doing things that I love and enjoy, taking my kids on vacations and, you know, maybe even playing a couple games with them. <laughs> That's right. In the world of pro gaming, that dangerous dude fragging the opposition might actually be a Colorado minister's daughter. Mary Jane's game of choice, Halo 2, is one of 160 titles available for the Xbox 360. And with Xbox Live, over 4 million people are able to play each other in real time from across the country and the world. Some have even qualified to win thousands of dollars at the World Series of video games while playing from their own homes. So you may never even see your opponent. When we come back, we'll meet one of the few gamers whose real life is about as exciting as the lifestyle depicted in the game he plays. Ballistics is up next, so stay tuned.